this is the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 and let us not be weary and well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not Call Halal Yamla, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Gwadash. Double honor to the elder and the apostles of Great Millstone, that rule well, who are the real true leaders of all Israel on earth today, if you can receive it. Peace, love, and blessings to you, Akim, that scattered abroad, pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth, man, to the hopeful elect. And to the few sisters that do listen and learn, to y'all I say Shalom. I would also like to give a serious Shalom to the Akim that come out of the loins of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that might look like the heathen nations, but you are Hebrew Israelites. And uh, yeah, man, we got a kingdom coming, man. We got a kingdom coming, man. We got a kingdom coming. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Got a kingdom for his people, man. And we about to inherit all things, man. All nations, all people, the whole earth. These people ain't happy because the wicked rule. Scriptures say when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, man. And that's what the Most High setting up, man. He's setting up his people to have a kingdom where even the heathens rejoice. Because everything is going to be perfect. Everything is going to be in order. Everything is going to be in line. So keep your spirit in tune with the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. And don't get weak. Get stronger. Get stronger. We almost at the finish line. Push harder. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 It says And let us not be weary And well doing Don't get weak For in due season Cause, Cause it's the Season is here Season changes But the season for the kingdom The season for reaping What you sowed is here Cause in due season We shall reap if we faint not May you plant the seed And you take care of it and you water it and it grow the seed is planted it's watered and the spirit is growing don't get weak in this thing man don't get weak and well doing because we're doing well we're doing a good thing we doing what please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah coming out professing the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah feeding our people with real food spiritual food not cardinal food. Yahweh Shah say, them that eat, drink of this water shall never thirst again, man. Never. So don't get weak and well doing. This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse Twenty-five. But that which he have already, hold fast till I come. What do we got, man? We got the name Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. We got the brothers. We got the doctrine. We got the truth. We got integrity now. We got honor now. We got something to look forward to, man. We got this truth, man. Hold fast, man. Don't take it for no game, man. Because the Most High could easily take the spirit from you, man. At any given time, man. You got to pray, pray, pray that you read it in the book of life. It says, verse 26. And he that overcometh, overcometh what? This world. You got to overcome these things. Overcome what's going on in your brain. Those 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 sick thoughts because we all get them we all get those moments when corrupt thoughts 
come through our minds and keep it from our works until the end until the end because he that endure to the end the same shall be saved you could do this thing for years on top of years and then as soon as you take your hand from the plow all the righteousness that you did is forgotten you got to endure to the end and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. So when you endure to the end and hold fast of this truth to the end, man, you get power over the nations. Man, you be a joint heir with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall I be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. This is Yahweh Shah basically talking to the elect, man. This is a message to the elect, man. Hold fast what you got until he come, man. When Shiloh come, he putting everything in order, man. Everything, man. Everything will be put under his feet. He inherit everything because he made everything with the whole for elect. That's why they get to be joint heirs with Yahweh Bash Yahweh Shah. Listen, they was there from the beginning with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, making everything. So don't get weak and well doing, man, Akim. Endure, endure, endure. Push to the end. Oh, let me get one more. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is better known as. Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 My son If thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul for temptation Because the devil Is going to try you harder When you come to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah You go through more hell When you come to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Them spirits try you more When you come to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah but the book of James chapter 1 verse 12 say, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life. That the Most High shall give him, man. The Most High will give you that crown of life, man. When you endure that temptation. It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make no haste in the time of trouble. Don't be trying to get out of shit, man. Like, okay, well, I'm not, no, you pray that the most I can get you through anything because he don't put too much on nobody that you can't bear. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou may be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a low estate. Be patient, man. Suffer it, man. Suffer it. Don't get weak though. Can't get weak. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah say, gird up thy loins like man, I demand of you, man. I'ma jump down to verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? No. Or did any abide in his spirit and was forsaken? No. Or did he ever despise that? called upon him no the Lord is full of compassion and mercy for his elect he cares for his elect man he got compassion and mercy on his elect matter of fact on the whole nation on the whole nation it says for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgive the sins and save us in the time of affliction, man. So don't get weak, man. It's many instances where you look back through the scriptures, the things that was written before time was written for our learning, man. So you can see, I can put my trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. He is that rock. He is that foundation. So don't get weak, man. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom and on to the next one.